Let me paint you a picture. You're on a boat off the coast of Madagascar. The sky is full of gloomy clouds of rain, but you're determined to make this a successful exotic fishing trip. As water pours from the sky, you attempt to finally catch some kind of trophy. You cast your rod, and after waiting patiently, you feel a bite on the hook. A big bite. You reel in with all your might, and to your shock and surprise, a six-foot-long prehistoric monster jumps out of the water, attached to your hook. What I have described here is one of cryptozoology's most interesting creatures, the coelacanth. The coelacanth is a species of fish that was thought to be extinct for over 66 million years, but was found off the coast of Africa in the 1930s. They live in underwater caves, are related to some of the earliest land creatures, and are inedible to humans because of poisonous oils inside of their flesh. Also, take a look at these guys' fins. They have eight fins that are attached to bony appendages, more like arms and legs than normal fish fins. I think these are such an amazing creature that show just how willing life is to survive against all odds. So, if coelacanths are still around, then what about dinosaurs and other prehistoric beasts? Does this mean stuff like the Loch Ness Monster is a scientific possibility? From what I've heard and read, the answer would be no. Yes, coelacanth is very unique and similar to its fossil counterparts, but the fossil specimens are just different enough to be a different animal. It's like when people say alligators have been around since the dinosaurs. That's only kind of true, since the extinct species weren't the same ones as the ones that are roaming around today. I encourage the listeners to research more on this animal and other living fossils, since I'm not actually a scientist, I'm just a big fan on this subject. But what would I rate this creature? As one of my favorite animals, I might be a bit biased, but for being as unique, fascinating, and odd as it is, I have to give this a final score of 8 out of 10 fin bones. Thanks for listening.